So you want to save your brain, don't you? You want to remember who your friends and family are. You want to remember who you are. You want to remember where, where you are. You want to remember where the car keys are. In fact, you want to remember where the car is. All that is about saving your brain. It's about preventing cognitive decline and ultimately the development of dementia. And how do we do that? We've spoken about one of the ways is physical exercise, particularly aerobic exercise and strength exercise. Let's talk about aerobic exercise. Like today, how long should you do it? How often should you do it? How intensely should you do it? Now hang around to the end because I'm gonna mention a piece of research which is really exciting. So stick with me. So we don't want dementia exercise. That kind of implies exercise that will give you dementia. No, we want dementia saving exercise. And we talked about aerobic. What's aerobic? That's like steady state exercise. It's like walking or running or cycling or swimming. Stuff that requires you to work at a high intensity but at a fairly steady state. So how long should you do that form of exercise? Well, the research is pretty plain, pretty clear. At least 20 minutes, preferably 30. How often should you do it? At least three times a week, preferably four to five times a week. How intensely? Well, this is what we call your zone two cardio. What's zone two cardio? You should be working at an intensity where conversation becomes difficult to maintain. If someone was walking with you or, or jogging with you, having a conversation between the two of you, you would be able to do it, but it wouldn't be a, a comfortable th thing to do. And you prefer to not talk and, and keep breathing <laughs> and doing your exercise. So zone two cardio. So that's pretty plain, that's pretty obvious, but you wouldn't believe the number of patients of mine over the years that said, oh, oh I don't like to exercise, oh, I don't like the gym, oh, I don't like to sweat, I don't like to you know, make effort, even though the benefits to them from a whole physical perspective is very obvious. But there was some great research recently out of uh, Leicester University in the UK where they looked at almost 400,000 people over about a 22-year period, I think it was. No, sorry, 12-year period. But 22,000 people in the study had died. And what they, one of the conclusions they came to in this health study was that people who were brisk walkers for at least 20 minutes to half an hour a day had a 70% less chance of developing dementia. 70%. Now, in medical research terms, that's almost unheard of. To have an intervention that gives you 70% better chance of survival or better chance of good outcome, that's incredible. And all it requires are two good legs. For most of us, that's what we've got. So there's no excuse. Get out that door and just start walking. And you don't have to walk even briskly to start with. Start with whatever pace you can manage, but build it up over time. So you've got it, 20 to 30 minutes, three or four times a week, zone two, where it's difficult to maintain a conversation. Hope that helps. Let's talk about some more forms of exercise to prevent dementia in the days to come. Catch you soon. Oh, by the way, if you like that, please like, subscribe, follow, share, and if you like, buy me a coffee in the link below. Catch you soon.